Hey, what's up everyone? This is Pierce Rappers bringing you a Shogun 2 Total Commentary Battle. Anyway, let's check out my army. I have six units of Bow Samurai. I think two of them are veterans, those two. Six units of Katana Samurai. Uh, a few of them are veterans, but nothing really too high. One unit of Fire Cavalry somewhere. <laughs> is it here? Yeah, there it is. My beautiful Fire Cavalry. Always in my army. <laughs> Unless it's hurt, obviously. Then I got five units of Yari Cavalry, one unit of Hand Mortars, and my Avatar. As you can see, I have switched back to the Takeda colors because I am a fan of the Takeda. Not just because they're cavalry, also because of their um, their uh, Daimyo Sh Shingen, who's uh, who had a really good story with uh, Ken Kenshin from the Yusugi. Okay, so. I got a message the other day, or yesterday, sorry, and it's it read something like, "Why do you always play newbie people?" And obviously, I replied saying maybe because I'm only a four-star bronze. <laughs> and then obviously, he said, "Yeah, well, your armies are overpowered compared to what you face." So um, I went looking for a nice opponent. Unfortunately, ever I don't obviously want to play like a level eight, and. Uh, so I tried to find like some level sixes and whatnot, but I can find any. But then miraculously, um, <laughs> a zero star uh, silver joined my lobby, and I didn't. I just thought he'd be like uh, he'd just have like his new armies because I have, I don't know what happens when you uh, like promote yourself to silver star and whatnot. And uh, so I was just, I was just expecting newbie army again because not that I want to face noobs, so I want to keep like leveling and just get what veterans I can. And obviously when I get like level eights and when I get to level 8 or 7 or something, I'll be playing higher levels, like level 9s and 10s. But at level 4, why would I play a level 10? Why would I play someone with, I don't know, like uh, 8 chevron lone swords or something? They'll wreck my army. <laughs> it's unfair for me. But um, I didn't know how this uh, uh, silver star thing worked. And, well, <laughs> my opponent's army, let's just say it's something that I really didn't think I could beat. So... Yeah, let's check out his army, shall we? Okay, so... 7-star Yari Cavalry. Is that good enough for you? Maybe maybe a bit more? Okay. 8-star Nodachi Samurai. And that's just not all he's got. A He's got there a 6-star Yari Samurai, a 7-star Katana Samurai, a... What the fuck is that? Is that seriously... <laughs> A seven star katana hero. So if that's not overpowered, then what the fuck is? And he's got more. Oh, did I already do that one? Yeah I did. Okay, so now he's got a another what looks like a seven star Nodachi Samurai. A seven star Yari Cavalry, his avatar, a five star Yari Samurai and some hidden units that I can't see yet. So yes, my army, my highest is probably like a four, a four chevron. So every single unit he has is higher than mine. So you're thinking, how do I win? Well, my opponent, while he is a, he's like level, he's a silver star now. He wasn't the smartest little jockey on the block, as you say. I know. <laughs> so yeah, let's see what happens. I mean, I have the cavalry advantage in numbers. He has the uh, infantry advantage in uh, awesomeness basically and uh, I don't know if he had any archers if I'm honest because uh, no, I think he went infantry heavy but yeah let's uh, I've always got my hand waters if I don't have them then it's probably because they're <laughs> we can <laughs> I love fucking around with them but as you can see I just took away 16 of that unit's infantry my opponent doesn't want to lose his army so he's gonna do him he's gonna be stupid and risk something van uh, von 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 available <laughs> oh no Ah, what's that word? Wish, wish something, um... Ah, it's like... I can't even remember what the word is now. Uh, it's basically risking something that's worth a lot. So here we go, yeah. He's sending in a 7 Chevron Yari Cavalry to try and take out our mortars. Obviously, I'm going to run away with my mortar, and I'm going to use my cavalry to take him out. I brought two units up. Obviously, one of them gets into battle faster, because they're so slow. And I'm trying to get this one round. He's now moving... 
Uh, oh no, he's not yet. Never mind. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna I'm taking out this cavalry with ease. He is gonna do some serious damage on this one, but it's a two versus one situation, and I've got the morale on my side as well. And I'm gonna take out his cavalry unit. So that's one seven chevron cavalry unit taken out because of a foolishness. Like for, because of my forged opponent. Now he's sending up another Yari thing. Just to try and get my uh, my hand mortar. And I'm not too bothered if I lose my hand mortar. Because at this point in time. I wasn't thinking about ta uh, losing it. I was thinking about taking out his cavalry. So as you can see again. I'm sending up my cavalry. I'm trying to do what I can. He is going to get through a bit to my archers. And that's fine. My archers can fight for themselves as well. I got some other cavalry coming around to help. But obviously it takes some time to get through the lines. And now he's sending up his entire force. He's even got his avatar coming up. This, this battle was close, I'm not saying my opponent was bad, but he made some huge mistakes by letting me take out his cavalry like right from the beginning without ease, without problems really. So yeah, as you can see, I have now taken out his only cavalry oh, units, I think, beside his avatar. So now, my army's ready, I'm gonna uh, release some volleys. He is, he is actually trying to go for my general, I think, with his guns, I, that's why I ran away. And I'm just gonna open up with my, um, my archers now, with some fire arrows. I wasn't really... Uh, worrying about my <laughs> wow look at that I wasn't um, particularly thinking my uh, archers could do much damage due to how many uh, shit he had oh yeah he had um, he had some uh, matchlocks let's see what there they are oh, did he have matchlocks I definitely saw yeah there's one I definitely saw some guns firing let's say a six chevron matchlock he's got a uh, five chevron bow samurai and another 5 seven chevron on both samurai. So my opponent's army is seriously, like, heavy in all chevrons. But as you can see, I have engaged in him, and I'm burping for some reason. And I'm sending, I'm trying to, like, uh, get everything in there. I, I'm even going to send in my archer soon. I'm trying to get my cavalry through, but he's got, like, tons of spears or everywhere and whatnot. Any unit really. In. But now my cavalry do get caught here, but I do manage to get him through. Now I've even got my cavalry here coming through. I'm trying to use what my, like, the best of my cavalry as I can. Uh, this flank breaks which gives me more units to use so I redirect my cavalry into the whole pack of men which he's gathered up here for some reason and I'm just gonna absolutely surround it I'm doing everything I can look I'm even sending in my archers I'm gonna make my archers fight hand to hand I want this battle won and I've got him surrounded so I'm gonna do that one of my cavalry's get caught here the other one here is getting absolutely battered by fire from his uh, archers but I'm sending everything in I'm trying to surround him I'm trying to get everything in there I'm just trying to break his infantry his infantry if that's gone then I'll win but obviously he's got one unit of infantry that won't break and that is Katana Hero that's a seven chevron Katana Hero anyone that's gone against Katana Hero I mean I've gone against no chevron Katana Hero and they are overpowered so this thing will not break for shit it's going down due to overwhelming numbers but it is overpowered and it will not break but he, the rest of his army is getting pretty much just shredded I was expecting uh, to lose this to be honest because <laughs> I didn't realize his armor was going to be so good but as soon as I realized he was going to sacrifice his cavalry just to try and get a hand mortar which didn't really do as much damage as I would like if I'm honest it didn't help as much as I would like of it to help so he sacrificed his cavalry for maybe 50 men of his army if that so yeah my opponent made some foolish mistakes but um he done. He was a good battle, and uh, I hope this proves that I don't. Ha I don't have to face noobs to win. I can face fucking seven chevron armies because no matter how good uh, the opponent is, if they make mistakes, they can always lose. Just because I play people that are on my level on in the bronze calendar, then obviously I'm gonna play people on my level. I'm not gonna play ten chevron armies it's because that will end up with me losing nine out of ten of my battles. And that's stupid. <laughs> so yeah, like as you can see, I have pretty much won the battle now. My opponent didn't say anything. I was expecting something like, "Oh, well, you're a new because you're obviously cheating." Blah 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 blah. But he didn't, and it does. It was a costly victory. It's nothing uh, too bad. And I'm gonna see if I can find. It. I don't know if I can do the statistics, but I'll check. And if not, then I guess I'll end the commentary. Hmm. <clears throat> Being unconquerable lies with yourself. Being conquerable lies with your enemies. War. It's from the uh, art of war from Sun Tzu. Okay, so when this bubble is loading, my dog starts stops barking. <laughs> uh, yeah, unit statistics. Um, okay, so my 
most of my infantry got uh, quite good kills. I mean, some of them didn't do as good as the others, but some of them done really well. Uh, even my bows got some alright kills, some of them done bad as well. My cavalry done very well in some cases, like 200 kills there, 130 there. The others didn't do as well. Hand Mortar, uh, he did do, he got 91 kills. I was thinking more about 50, but 91, so obviously he didn't help much in the battle. But, yeah, you know, my opponent, his, uh, most of his army didn't do that well at all. Uh, his Yari Samurai done most of the work, I think. But his, as you can see, his Katana Hero got 125 kills, which is okay, but overwhelming numbers beat him. So yeah, I can play good players and win, but I don't have to, because I am trying to get up so I can play the good players. And the only way I can get up is by beating people on my level. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I'm sorry about the ranting and whatnot, but uh, there's some people out there that feel like the um, that the world revolves around them and they need to express everything they need to say, you know, everything in their mind. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Bye.